My friend, my friend, we're gonna be playing Blowing in the Wind. We have this by Mr. Bob Dylan, uh, and the, the version that I really dig on, there's been thousands of artists that have done it. Uh, I really dig on Joni Mitchell. So if you have a chance, try and check out that with Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan. If you, if you like the way Bob talks, you can check out what he's doing. However, Joni Mitchell from the 60s, 70s, beautiful version. Uh, this is in the key of A. There are three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Meaning when we play A major, and then we play B minor, C sharp minor, a D major, an E major, an F sharp minor, and then what we have is our last chord. We're gonna be going basically to an uh, to an E7. It's gonna exhibit that we know how to play a G sharp diminish and go back to A major again. So one of the things I'd like to show you here <clears throat> are all the chords in this song. We have our one, the root, the A major, which we can play with any fingering that you'd like. That same A major, when we use an F shape and we play it at the fourth fret, we get an A major as well. There you go. And then when we go to our D major, I like to play it like this, raising it up. However, if you play this D major with three fingers, not an issue. Have fun with it. Our aforementioned chord, the E7, first finger on the first fret of the G string to make an A flat or a G sharp. We're going to put our second finger on the C string to make a D. And then we're going to put our third finger up top to make a B note, leaving the E open. And then our F sharp minor looks a whole heck of a lot like a G7 or a B diminished, but we move it horizontally to play the C sharp. We're going to be playing the A and then the F sharp. You can put the pinky out on the C sharp if you want to. However, it doesn't have to be. Those are the four chords. So when we play one, two, one, two, we have a kind of a feeling going back and forth. It's still four, but we can count two. I'm going to count for four, even though we're in cut time. How do I know that? There's a C with a line through it, meaning common time it be cut in half. So here we go. A major, D major, A major, D major, E7, A, D major, A, D, E7, blah, 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 A. They just keep going back and forth. You're not going to experience the F sharp minor until the last couple measures. Okay, here we go. Follow with me. One, two, three, four. How many roads must the man walk down before you can call him a man? Yes, and how many seas must the wine of sail before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must a cannonball fly before they're forever banned? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. All the chords A to D back to A and it holds the A for three measures one more measure of A then to D to an E7 played like this or bar and then play both your bookends and leave the C open like this or like that either way this is easier and then A to D Back to A for three measures. To the D right here. Back to an E7 and hold it out. And back to the A to the D. Raise the vocals when you sing. I'm starting to sound like Van Morrison. Or not Van Morrison. <laughs> D major. E7 here. Here is that. D major to an E7. It's going to be going to an A. Here's our F sharp minor. I had a little pizzazz with that B over the top. I think it's lots of fun. Out of the F sharp minor to the D major E7 to A. Wonderful tune. I hope you check it out. I just don't do it justice. <laughs> I had a great time today. I hope you did too.